what color changing markers acrylic paint markers that change color what are they what are they about what's this thing like in this fancy little package we're gonna find out I'm sorry I hit that so hard these have been sent to me by Glistra Glistra yes and they're color changing and I'm very excited <laughs> so let's just get into it sure of what paper to use with markers because if I use a toothy paper um, they often like break off and all, all obviously obviously paint markers are supposed to be used for like chalk boards and stuff like that like that was their main purpose but now people are using them to make art so it's very exciting for us why is it auto fixing don't do that to me camera come on we've got eight colors in here and five colors here a uh, white one it doesn't actually say the color on it which is a bit odd because like if they're color changing it would be good to know what colors they change into so you can make an informed decision about your artwork um pink okay well i guess we're gonna have a little surprise purple green silver silver hopefully that'll be a metallic color that'll be pretty cool and what are these ones these ones are Changing paint, it says on the back. I'm interested to see how they change. Foreshadowing! Got another purple, I think there's exactly the same. Yeah, we've got a few extras. So, we've got the same ones again for some reason. And maybe they thought these were like the best colors. And then we've got, some, ooh, like that one. And then this weird device, which has extra nibs in it. I don't know if I can rotate that enough for you to see, but it does have extra nibs in it. It came in its own. Oh, sorry. It came in its own delightful rare package. It kind of looks like something I don't know, <laughs> secret and expensive. So a little clear plastic box. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe this is what changes the color. Invisible luminous. Is it a glow in the dark one? Is it a glow in the dark one? Because that's what we need to know. And then it comes with two little nibs. Oh, did that fall out? I don't know what that is. Is that another nib or is that like just, I don't know, a bit of plastic? I'm gonna keep them all in there just in case I need them in a minute. I'm just gonna put that to the side. Ooh, fancy luminous. I think it is glow in the dark because it looks um, pretty glow in the darky. It was in fact a glow in the dark pen. Okay, let's get down to it. I'm just gonna start doing some random testing because we know with paint markers, they take a while to like, oh, no, actually that was relatively quick, right? To come through. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's super thick. It's coming out very, very black for this purple. Um, not sure about that. Not sure why that is the case. Is that part of the color changing? Does it? I seriously I don't know what about this is color changing they just sent me these markers and there's not really an explanation with them let's try it out maybe when they dry they change to like a light color is that what we're doing here let's see let's find out I'm gonna write purple here because we don't know I forgot how to spell purple for like five seconds then and I panicked <laughs> I want to try this pink. Do, 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 do. This is real time how quick it is to like go down the nib because I know with like Poscas and stuff it does take quite a bit of time but that could be because the paint is like thicker, I don't know. This is coming out exactly the same like black colour so now I'm scared. <laughs> this is the pink one. Um, what? Let's see, let's see what happens. Maybe when it dries. It is going down quite nice, by the way. It's very smooth and juicy, if that... I don't know, I always feel weird saying something's juicy. It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> this pen is juicy. Okay, pink. But it's not looking pink right now. They're both looking pretty black. I can see this one slightly becoming more of a purple hue. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but like super slight. So I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try this green and hope for the best. Hope it doesn't come out completely black because then this video will be very short. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> it does take like some time to 
to change basically and then that would be kind of cool because then it's like you drew you drew you draw your picture and then you can see it be unveiled before your eyes that's pretty cool i can see that this is a slightly different tint of black right so that gives me promise because this is green so that's making me hope that maybe is gonna change oh it is changing this one quite quickly can you see it changing it was in fact not changing or it's just like four um three i can't count either i can't spell and i can't count i'm yeah uh three black rectangles here for artwork <laughs> okay so the pink is looking black the purple is looking black the green is looking slightly metallic-y green i don't know if you could see that maybe in different light can you see that it's like slightly green I'm hoping once they dry, they dry a different colour, or I don't know. Maybe I have to use this thing over the top, maybe I have to use the white. Is it dry? It's dry, so maybe... I don't know, I don't know, guys, <laughs> there were no instructions. Let me, maybe on the back, shake before release. Yeah, it doesn't actually give you any, like, indication of how these work and I bet some people who have had color changing stuff before are screaming at me through the lens but I can't help it. oh my god this is a white and it's coming out black as well how does that make sense it doesn't make any sense to me I don't know what happened to my voice super weird voice sorry about that please stay please keep watching <laughs> oh god what is this like I'm not sure if this is how they're supposed to be or if like in transit they got exposed to the sun too much i don't know like that's just weird right unless this is supposed to be a black oh it is i'm dumb it is no it isn't i thought <laughs> it indicated the color i'm like no <laughs> what's happening okay i'm gonna put white here and be like hmm maybe it's this thing that i need to use i think i need to use this because i remember i remember when i was a kid and um You've had those colour changing pens and then you had the one that changed it so you ran it over and it it did do something. Okay, so I'm either gonna destroy maybe that's why they give you extra nibs because they know that you're gonna rub it over other colours. I don't know. This looks pretty much like it's glow in the dark though, so and I think it is because when I hold it up to my face, it glows in the dark. Oh okay, yeah, it's glow in the dark, it's not doing anything. <laughs> And I've just ruined the nib. Brilliant. Brilliant start to a brilliant show. I hope you're all happy. The sarcasm is coming out and I'm very angry and I'm very British right now. Hmm. Okay, let's try this blue. I, I keep doing that thing where it's like I hope for a different, different result, but then they're just not coming out. Okay, this looks slightly less black. I'm gonna just research them. Okay, I've come back after some research and it shows that as you use them, the more the pigment comes out. So, would have been good to know because I'm very confused by that, but as you go, it should show you stuff. Come on. And it should become more like metallic-y as you go, which is kind of cool. I guess they're more like metallic-y colors but i wouldn't really call them paint changing color changing markers right i don't know let's keep going maybe i've missed something i'm gonna try and draw something with them and hope for the best the problem is i really do hate being that person who's like quite negative about stuff especially art supplies because i think like people you know they're passionate about making art supplies or something and in the end it's like I'm just maybe reviewing something that people have worked hard on so I don't want to be too like critical but I don't really get these like I'm not understanding what's happening with them yet so I'm just gonna keep drawing and hoping <laughs> for the best basically because maybe it's just me not using them correctly which is a very big possibility because I am actually a noob hearty surprise guys this is not the average artist this is the noob artist welcome I tricked you tricked you all so yeah um these are looking pretty good as in juicy and then very shiny so you can see here this is the yellow one and you can see a yellow shine to it but I'm just like that's kind of a weak shine you, you can barely see it 
and uh, we'll see maybe the more I use it the more the pigment comes out which is kind of what they showed on their channel like I watched a little short video of some kids testing out some stuff so let's see let's see how it goes I mean it's not like they're, they're, they're annoying to draw with because you get some alcohol markers that are really like like it's difficult to layer them down these ones are what they have going for them is that they are very easy to just like have the liquid come out and stay <laughs> I was gonna say stay out what the heck yeah let's have the liquid stay out like as if liquid goes back in what am I on about I'm trying to find positive things I guess to talk about these because I was so excited to try these right and now I'm just like so disappointed like I don't want to be that person who just poos on everything you know what I'm saying like I want to be someone who's like positive and can find the good and stuff and what the hell am I drawing oh my goodness because this is supposed to be yellow <laughs> but it's not I mean yes it is it's sparkling yellow on, on over the black so I wouldn't really call that color changing would you I'm just gonna cover up her the mistakes I've made which is nice paint markers are great because you can just uh, they're very forgiving basically and I'm not sure if it's the paper or these markers but they are not pulling up any of the the paper which is usually what tends to happen with paint markers but I haven't again I haven't used like this smooth paper before with markers so it's probably me color changing to me is ooh, there's a plane color changing to me is when you have like a blue and then over time it changes to pink or red or something or you apply another color and it changes color like you know this is not color changing to me this is just like black with a slight hint of um, shimmer to it which is not not what it says on the tin and I think I'm getting down because I don't like to bad mouth stuff a bit especially I don't know it's not like this came from wish or something you know what I mean where people are genuinely trying to rip you off this is like an art company trying to make stuff and I do appreciate it for what it is like this black with a shimmer kind of cool but it's not color changing so if you guys are in the looking for some black paint markers that have a metallic tint to them then these are your the perfect find because they do work really well for that purpose if you go to their website it kind of does show you people using it in real time and how it how it looks but I didn't look at that when I looked at their website I just kind of looked at oh color changer mark paint markers cool and I was like can I have some of those I, I think that's what people would see as well if they went to a website to buy something I don't know you know what I mean you don't really well I don't personally watch like videos of products unless it's like a super expensive product then I probably would do more a bit more research but you know these are fairly cheap they're not terrible I, I am having a bit of a rant because I thought they were something else than what they are um, I'm gonna finish this picture and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna fill a whole A4 page because I want to see how much paint is in these bad boys and then if I fill a large surface area which I know fine point is not really made for um, but on their video on their channel it shows kids children painting in large really large stencils of animals and you can really see the metallic shimmer once they're done so if I do that then it's like maybe you get more of the shimmer the more surface area you you find can, can you guys see it now the shimmer slightly maybe if I up the the light a bit can you see it's like slightly shimmery of the color so we've got the pink um, yellow yellow and green here and I think what would be cool to use them with if they hadn't marketed them as color changing to me what would be cool to use them as is a black outline that sort of had that shimmer to it which would be quite nice so what I'm gonna do is also test the glow in the dark one let's see how glow in the dark it is but also I want to fill up a page with one of these colors and I think we're gonna use one of these extra ones that I have which is this pink one uh, which hasn't been used so we'll start straight away with a fresh one and we'll see how many pages I can fill up with this and if the shimmer works better
and I'm sick of this. <laughs> okay, you can see um, that it filled up an entire piece of paper and it's still pretty juicy, it's still got lots inside and uh, you can also see that the colour changing aspect is still a little meh. Um, you could probably tell that this side is quite um, more pinky than this side maybe, if you can tell that on the camera. Quite difficult, barely there though in real life so. Um, what I'm going to do now is see how they layer. This is my drawing from earlier that's completely dried now. I'm just going to like use some colours over the top of it and just see how it looks. If there's anything to see other than black. You can definitely tell there's a difference. There's like a hue of the colour, right? You know? So it's kind of disappointing. I'm a little bit disappointed because I was looking forward to trying these out. And as you can see on the large one, it doesn't really change depending on how large you make it. Um, I also want to try just completely a new one. Okay, here's a new one and I'm going to completely shake it because maybe inside it hasn't mixed well enough. That's my last stitch effort to see if they will work. Okay, so I've probably shaken this for about a minute. So there was some vigorous shaking there. And this one is the purple. No, it's looking the same. I do also want to try the glow in the dark one. So let's just try two different aspects. I'll do one over here, like a circle. Okay, I'm gonna just do like a circle on her dress and some stripes maybe. So let's go and see how this looks in the dark. We're in my bathroom now, and as you can see, the glow in the dark works actually surprisingly well. That's a cool pen. I would say that pen is pretty cool. I will be using that in the future a bit more. And yeah, so there we go. Look guys, it's quite bright. So that's it guys, that's my review of these colour changing paint markers. Uh, you can probably tell the difference from me from the beginning of this video to the end. I mean, I'm looking forward to using these as line art markers for when I use paint markers, so there we go, I've got a lot of line art markers, so hooray. That's my review and I'm sorry if this video was overly negative. I don't like to be negative, but yeah, please check out my Patreon, guys. <laughs> and thank you again to Glistra, Glistra for um, sending me these pens. If you guys would like to check these out for whatever reason, their website is in the description box below. Obviously, these work well as a black liner pen. Very juicy. Good in that sense. Good if you want a bit of tint of colour, as you can see here. But apart from that, not really colour changing. So... Thanks for watching guys and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!